Welcome to the sixth lecture of group theory in which we are going to discuss some more examples of groups and today the group is UN. Okay, what is this UN? Okay, let's fix this n greater than 1. Let n greater than 1 and fix it be a fixed integer. All right. Then what is un? Okay. So take the naturals which is less than n such that such that gcd of m and n is equals to 1. Okay. And we can call it also what? m and n are co-prime or relative prime. Okay, it seems a little bit uh, different, but it's very easy. Un, where n greater than 1 be some fixed integer. Take the naturals, which is less than n, such that the greatest common divisor of m and n is 1 means we can say that we have to take all the naturals which is less than this fixed integer and which is co-prime to this then u n with multiplication modulo n this is the algebraic structure u n with multiplication modulo n is an abelian group okay so this is an abelian group i think you got it please write it and therefore thereafter i will give you an example all right okay so now take an example here I think you have written this uh, we are going to discuss this one so uh, this is always an abelian group I am going to verify with an example so please write it and take an example and we will verify it from our well-known Kelly table because it will be very interesting to see so let's u12 okay so how u12 is defined take m belongs to n and this m is less than 12 this m is less than 12 such that gcd of m and 12 should be 1 all right any doubt no so from here m belongs to n means naturals so we will start with one so is the greatest common divisor of 1 and 12 is 1 yes therefore yes we will take this now 2 2 and 12 the greatest common divisor is not 1 it's 2 for 3 it is not possible for 4 the greatest common divisor is not 1 but 5 the GCD greatest common divisor of 5 and 12 is 1 therefore 5 is okay but 6 is not 7 yes 8 not 9 no 10 no 11 yes and 12 is not so you can see the greatest common divisor of 1 and 12 is 1, 5 and 12 is 1, 7 and 12 is 1, 11 and 12 is 1. Therefore, this is our set. So, this U12 verify this U12 with multiplication modulo 12 is an abelian group. Okay we have to verify this so first of all we will make a Kelly table here 
is this feasible okay so now okay this is rectangular table and all right you know all this thing we will write the binary operation here which is multiplication modulo 12 is this all right 1 5 7 and 11 and 1 5 7 and 11 and now you know how to operate this multiplication modulo so you will say what let me change the color you will say 1 into 1 1 1 into 5 5 1 into 7 7 1 into 11 11 and 5 into 1 5 7 into 1 7 11 into 1 11 now here 5 into 5 25 let me write one operation here 5 multiplication modulo 12 5 5 multiplication modulo 12 5 is what so 5 5 are 25 and 25 divided by 12 then remainder is what 1 therefore 1 5 7 are 35 so 35 so 12 to ja what 24 12 3 ja 26 but we need what 12 to ja so this would be 11 okay because you know this 5 multiplication modulo 12 7 is what so 35 divided by 12 the remainder is 11 okay 5 multiplication modulo 12 11 so 55 so 7 55 divided by 12 the remainder is 7 7 1 are 7 7 5 are 35 and 35 divided by 12 so 11 and 7 7 are 49 so 1 77 so 5 all right now 11 5 are 55 so 7 77 so 5 121 so 121 so 12 10 are 120 so finally 1 is this all right okay so in this table you can see that all the elements in the green color are nothing but from this u12 okay therefore it follows the closure law closure law is well verified associative has no problem at all you can watch my previous lecture okay and what about existence of identity existence of identity with respect to multiplication modulo 12 certainly one because I have told you that the identity the leftmost column and the uppermost row has the same thing so this is the identity and identity is that element if we operate the binary operation with any element to identity then we get we get that element only so one is the identity here now what about inverse so to get the inverse we circle the identity element in every row and every column okay in every row and every column identity is a must so from here you can see the 
inverse of 1 is what 1 because this has been circled so the inverse of this is this so 1 is the 1 is self inverse self inverse means what it is the inverse of itself 1 is here so 5 and again 5 so 5 is the inverse of 5 because 1 is here so in this row and this column so 5 is also self inverse as it is the inverse of itself okay here is 1 so 7 7 7 is also self inverse and 11 11 is also self inverse so it is a it was a very interesting a uh, group because every element in this group is self inverse so always remember this fact that this un where n was greater than 1 and n was fixed and uh, if we take any natural which is less than n which is co prime to n then this collection with respect to multiplication modulo n think we have taken here 12 then multiplication modulo 12 is always an abelian group so you have seen that this is a group and to show that this is abelian by k table this table is a k table you can watch my previous lecture and uh, if you will take this as the mirror then certainly you can see whatever which is uh, this side of this straight line is same as this side here is 11 here is 11 here is 7 here is 7 all these things are so so this is an abelian group because i have told you if it is symmetric if this table is symmetric about its diagonal then this is abelian so certainly this is abelian means uh, okay it follows commutativity so i hope you have enjoyed this group you can change this you can take any composite number and uh, you can uh, make uh, groups and you can verify by Kelly table okay so we will meet in the next video with some more examples of groups okay bye